Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Cougar. I wanted to play something that is small but nasty, that can help the team with ECM and mid-range firepower and is only light mech, so it doesn't take up the biggest slots. What are we doing today? We are taking the Cougar. We are taking the Cougar H, but it really doesn't matter which one you take because we mixed and matched all of the Omnipods so that it it's, it's all over the place. So you don't get any benefit out of that. You can put any Cougar uh, or can take any Cougar and put Put the build onto the mech like I did here. What are we doing here? We have four medium lasers on the right arm, there's one on the right side torso and then we have one heavy large laser on the left side torso, so it's a nice classic laser vomit build but on a light mech. We only only have 17, no 19 double heat sinks which means um, the build could be a little bit toasty especially when shooting the heavy large laser a lot. That thing generates 16 heat compared to the 7, oh 6.3 heat that a medium laser it does so it's basically worth three lasers in terms of heat here so be careful with the left side but uh, the medium laser themselves you can just shoot them all over and over and over again and have a good time the clan ECM is helping us with not being seen not being targeted so much because we kind of obscure ourselves from the enemy sensors and if you have a bigger mech around then you most likely are not getting shot you can also use the clan ECM to just be somewhere in the outskirts in the flanks of your enemies and then shoot them when they are not aware but be advised, the laser beams, they will stay on the battlefield for quite a long time. I mean, the laser duration, which means the enemies can trace that beam back towards you. So every now and then you have to reposition and, uh, you know, change your idea of where to be in order to not get pushed and then completely destroyed because... Keep in mind, guys, we are running a 35-ton clan light mech. We don't really have armor around us. This mech is basically just a glass cannon. And yeah, that's what we are doing today. We're gonna shoot our enemies quite a lot and hopefully are not being seen. The build in terms of skills here looks like that. We have invested into the almost classic uh, laser vomit firepower tree, but I wanted to get some additional heat management and cooldown, so I was going even further down here. That enables us to skip those two range nodes, and then we have, of course, a laser duration. All of the heat gen nodes on the left side, there is one more here on the right side that is not really easily accessible for us, so I was skipping it all together. But apart from that, we need heat management to keep the mech cold and keep shooting when we can. We also have a bit of survival ability here so left side of the survivability giving us a lot of armor hardening nodes and yes usually I say light max defense is mobility however we are running 81 kph because we are only running a clan xl engine 175 this make is slow but it has a lot of leftover weight where we can use the weapon system so that is the benefit of it it has a lot of payload, it has a lot of pod space, but it's super slow. So therefore, I wouldn't really consider it a light mech that can rely on its mobility. Absolutely not. Therefore, survivability in order to, you know, catch some shots and then try to just dive down to cover. We also have maximum cool run, maximum heat containment, all of the operations node, all of the important laser operations node are skills here. And then, of course, since we are using an ECM, we're going to take enhanced ECM1 and enhanced ECM2 and all the stuff that we get on the way down. It doesn't really matter. I mean, info gathering is great. Sensor range is okay. I mean, it's it's good to have, but the most important thing is the enhanced enemy uh, enhanced ECM systems. Of course, since we are running an all energy boat, we are using double cool shot today and I also have an uh, advanced salvos here, which is an indicator that I'm also running an artillery strike. And that's the build, everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a range, a range, a rating, subscribe to the channel and, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing Zap. Oh my god, 60% heat. Alright, let's go guys. Uh, we are playing uh, Assault and I really need to get out of this area quickly. However, we have a flea contesting what's coming from the left. So that is good. That is very good. That means that we know, thanks to his sensors, that nobody is pushing us. And that is a good sign. So, where do we go? I'd say we're gonna try to meet with the Assault Mechs. Uh, wait, singular, Assault Mech. And um, try to just be in the pack of the team, not trying to expose ourselves too much and just shoot whenever we have the opportunity. Like this. Ah, uh, that was not great. Alright, I'm gonna try again. Is that even possible? Yeah, that's, that's a good idea, man. There we go. So, UAV is down. Was very important. I mean... That UAV wasn't really relevant to the fight right now, but it could have been. So, Jaguar is pulling up, or pushing up, not pulling up, but pushing up. Making pull-ups here. Alright, we have the top. That seems good-ish. I'm gonna stay very close to my friend, the Jaguar, here. And uh, we are already getting shot. 
What was that? I'm so curious. So, Thunderbolt is there. Yeah, but they're probing that. They're coming, they're coming now. Oh, boy. Ooh. That's uh, way too much for me. I try to get back down. What's wrong with the hunchback? Why is not he not moving? Also, why is everybody going to the right side? Uh, is this gonna be a NASCAR? I'm gonna try to take the... Uh, I, I wanna try to take that UAV down. Cannot help. Sorry. Got the UAV. Oh, that's good. And... Oh, man. Should I go? Oh, no, I should go for somebody else. For somewhere else, more importantly. Because that top is so cluttered that I cannot really get an angle on my enemies. So let's try to find another one. That doesn't work. We're gonna do it differently. So, that's a good shot. We are currently completely in the flank of our, of our foes. Great. So, cool shot, yes or no? I think yes, because we want to definitely shoot our weapons a little bit more. Okay, go for the cicada there. One more shot. He's very slow, but I'm hot and nobody's in top anymore, so we have to drop. Again, it's super important that we are not sent our attention for our enemies. We gotta stay safe. We gotta keep our the little armor that we have, and it has to stay where it is right now. So here's the cicada. Hopefully destroyed. Oh, come on, guys. Follow up. No, we couldn't get him. Sadly, sadly, sadly. That means that we certainly do not push. No. Okay. I'm gonna try to find my spot in the flank yet again. So we're gonna make an angle. A uh, wide, wide, wide circle around it here. Nobody's taking top. Okay, let's see. Good. That was great. We opened him up completely. But now I... Oh, yeah, I have attention. <laughs> Lots of AC2s on a king crab down there. Should we join that fight? I think we should certainly join that fight. It's a bit risky because I'm showing my back, but um, King Crab needs killing. And I was so hoping that he would turn around. I was so much hoping for it. Mm hmm okay. Cannot get it. There's another Kid Fox. I wanted to say Cougar, but it's a Kid Fox here. Uh, and more Assault Max coming. What's the King Crab doing? Difficult. Very difficult to find my spot here. I really need to rely on my... What's that? It's a cicada. It's the cicada. And it's not anymore. Perfect. Five and five. That kill was good. That was quite important, guys. Let's keep... Keep, keep being careful, I wanted to say. Yeah! And another one! Perfect! Seven and six. Looking strong. Going for Mr. Urban Mag. Mr. Urban Mag has opened me up, but he's about to pop as well. So, King Crab is going. Um, I want to really bring my artillery strike down on the King Crab. Where's Irby? I don't know. Alright, and that's, that's, that was bad. That was so bad, guys. Oh, <laughs> I dropped my Adi. But there goes my right side torso. The ultra auto cannons. Oh no, the regular auto cannons. Way too much for me. I didn't really want to drop there. I accidentally did it. And now I have a king crab on my tail. And I am not really sure if I can defend myself against it. That's the only thing I can really bring to the table here. It's one more shot. And he's going for my legs. And that is game for me. That was one mistake, guys. Again, one mistake that sealed the deal. But anyway, we dealt 500 damage. That's pretty good for the build like that. And um, for a game time like that. So I hope that my teammates can now finish what is going on here. The Kid Fox Purifier is still having AMS and one heavy medium laser. But the torso twisting gives him enough defense so that his side torso is not getting destroyed. Crazy. King Crab still alive. King, Yeah, King Crab and Kid Fox. Both of them are the last enemies. So... Where did the King Crab go? No, we did get him! So, last guy is the Urban Mech. So, I do believe that we will win this game. Because that Urban Mech was certainly running an XL engine. Not bad, guys. That was really well done. It was a very close game as well. So, ha! We got it. Let's take a look at the end score here. And uh, see what we did in total here. So, we had two killing blows. One kill, most damage dealt with five assists. 500 damage done. 350 taken. As well as five components destroyed. And that was the first round. So, let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Solaris City. We are playing Domination. And we have no okay, assault yeah. mag. And okay. somebody disconnected. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Alright, that's a, that's a bad thing. Well, we need to really open up our enemies quickly and uh, try to destroy them in no time. Absolutely no time. Because it might be that they have a lot of armor on the board and we are not winning the war of attrition. Definitely not. Uh, I'm gonna go for the snowball. Alpha? Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's try to open them up and kill them quickly. We need that advantage early on. Alright, let's see. Come on, can we get another shot on him? He's running a pretty big engine, seemingly. Oh, there's guys on the right side as well. Oh, and I've been spotted. That is so bad. 
That is so, so bad. My ECM was still active, but he had good vision on me and as a result, got me. Okay, a bit more damage on the snowball and I do believe that it's a good idea to just stay here. Oh, there's low signal on the other side. Hmm. Well then, I guess... Come on, snowball. Don't have a clear shot, so I cannot do anything here. Uh, nobody? Oh, there was somebody. Never mind. You know what? I'm gonna drop artillery right there. Hoping it's, it, it does something. It doesn't need to do a much, but it needs to do something. So, peeking, 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 peeking. Actually, my artillery strike actually hit something. So that's good. I catapult. Don't hit me. Oh, ping. That was a machine gun from a friend. Get that catapult echo up there. Can we? Oh, it's a warhammer. And there is a ping. What? I did not expect to be uh, to have an enemy in our backs, actually. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trying to trying to stay behind my friends. Adjusting aim because he pulled back. Our Warhammer is in heavy distress. Left side is getting pushed. Ugh, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Laser beams that are getting interrupted by friends are not fun. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, no. We will definitely abandon this edge there because we cannot do anything. Because this, this angle is getting pushed like hell. So we got to reposition. We got to bring some ECM over here. Helping out. Target. Trying to get the Warhawk. Yeah, let's fan out and get some damage in here. On the Stalker. Stalker is killable. Juliet. Let's try to get him. Okay. Whoop. That shouldn't come out. Alright. Alright, let's stay on the Stalker. And again, people running through my laser beams. Not great. But we we got a kill already. One. Oh, wait. That one kill? is in oh, fact the yeah. snowball that we saw earlier. So let's cool down, let's go somewhere where we can actually be helpful and uh, do not uh, deal more team damage here. It's a three, and th three scenario. Why is he running back? I don't know. We certainly have to get into the fight again. I mean, seriously. It's shooting. Trying to get the side or the center of this guy. Oh man. There's a Phoenix Hawk and he is almost down. On top oh, of the building, probably going for me now. Or is he? Is he or is he not? Freaking Phoenix Hawk is freaking my back. It's another snowball. We have a four and four situation. I'm disconnected from the team. That is bad. That is so bad. Here he is. Yet again, cannot really do anything here. And that's a grasshopper. Yeah, I have the feeling we got outmatched, outmatched in terms of tonnage. Here comes the Phoenix again. All right, medium laser destroyed. No, heavy laser destroyed. We got that guy. But is it going to be enough? I certainly have to take it a little bit slower. Phoenix Hawk is still there and he is uh, getting pushed back now. So we're going to wait for him. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I see red. Um, L Delta 4, guys. Check out Delta 4. Delta 4, coming from our left. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. But... But, 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 can I, can I really get away from this? No, I cannot. This guy's pushing me. So that's the only thing I can try to do. <laughs> Trying to defend myself against that urban mech who really wanted me dead. But I'm still alive. So back into the fight, I'd say. We still have lasers. My center torso is just one yeah, touch. Phoenix Hawk, funnily enough, still alive. Interesting. And trying to adjust my aim. That's a freaking Cyclops still. Wow, Phoenix Hawk is down though. All right, gotta really be careful with the heat here. That's an LBX Cyclops, one pellet and I'm dead, like one hit. So we have to kind of tread the needle, trying to shoot between the pillars, and now he's gone. Take that real quick, thank you. Ooh, lucky, yeah, we got lucky here, big time. So, I saw a low signal there, which is bad for us. And then, of course, there is the Cyclops. Can I? Gotta be really careful here. <laughs> Alright, it's coming in. Nah, that was a wasted shot. That was wasted heat. And... I cannot help, really. I mean, Cyclops is a stick. That's good. That's mine. But there is still a low signal. There is something that has ECM. I'm gonna put my ECM to counter. Oh, there's a stealth. Yeah. Stealthly here. 
<laughs> of course I couldn't hold this. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. That was brain fart. Absolutely. I just saw that guy and I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's just if I see him, I can shoot him. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That was unnecessary. But let's see how we gonna bring this to the end. Um, there's one heavy laser coming from our Arctic Cheetah. And then there's more coming from the Cataphract. Come on, buddy. It's an LB-20. It's a great weapon to hunt a flea. Come on, push in. He's currently running away. Oh, all right. So he's turning around. Looking at the seismic sensor. Smart. But he's exposing his left side quite a lot. And the gun is on his right side. So he needs to push a little bit further in. So he can shoot when the flea is coming around. That is going to be a very interesting though. end game here. The flea, the apex predator, trying to hunt down our friends. It's kind of like in Predator, where you cannot see your foe, but he's shooting from all angles. Just standing still is, I believe, not a good idea, because it'll take time to react to where the flea goes, and he has the peak's advantage here. So he can't just come around the corner, figure out where you are, and then, you know, just, just adjust his aim not and sure just go for it. Uh, Cheetah. Just watch uh, the uh, Cataphract back. The back? I uh, mean, how is the back of the Fract? Uh, it is open, but I'd be more worried about the side torso. Really. The flea is gonna find his angle, definitely. abso freaking lootly. Holy crap, what is going on here? Nobody is making a move. The Cheetah and the Fract, smart that they're staying together, but again, I would, in I would move if I was them. I mean, you know that the flea has his stealth off, that is good, and he is in the circle. That is the thing that we know, because the, the counter, the timer, is not ticking down. But, where did he go? So the flea has his stealth off, and is in the circle, because the countdown is not ticking. Just informing my yeah. team right now. It's a Mexican standoff. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, okay, so they are moving in. Alright, well, alright, alright, alright. Maybe... Somebody said Delta 5. Oh, was there a seismic sensor? Up top, maybe. Up top, yeah, probably. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, he might be up top. So Delta 5 in this area, we don't see him below, so he has to be up on the ramp or on this... He might be in the rack. Yeah, there he is. Spot it, spot it, spot it. Okay, and the fight spot unfolds it. once more. Right, One good hit with the L... Yeah, with the LB-20. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Great job, buddies. Come on, keep shooting. Yeah, perfect. Good. Yay. And the flea is now going all in. Bam. Uh, the LB20 giving him the rest. Good job, guys. That was amazing. That was real fun to play. I mean, that's self-execution there. Yeah. Happens, I guess. But it's cool, man. It's cool. I'm actually baffled that I survived so long after being caught like that. Now, we got two killing blows, 10 assists, we got one kill, most damage dealt, 668 damage done, 235 taken, three components destroyed. And that was your daily dose for today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.